just a normal family. A little awkward, sometimes weird, loud and crazy. Wait, did I say normal? Oops, my bad. Stick around. Get to know us. We have Cheyenne and Tyreek. This is Savannah. I'm Michelle. And this is The Shell Bill Life. Michelle here welcome back to my channel and today I am going to be talking about as you can see in the description box below 10 things that annoy me the most my 10 top 10 pet peeves I started to name this video 10 things I hate but hate is such a strong word and I know I sometimes I'll say like I hate mushrooms which I do that's not on the list though I hate mushrooms but um, hate's a strong word, so I decided not to use that. So you guys will hear top 10 things that annoy me the most. First, before I get started, let me throw in a disclaimer. These opinions are mine and mine alone. And if I make a lot of people upset or mad, just know that I'm not pointing out my fingers to you. This is just my feelings. I probably have family and friends who do a lot of the things that I'm about to say. So I'm not pinpointing anyone out. Let me just throw that out there right now. These are just my feelings about things that I hate. You may have some things that you don't like about me. That's your opinion. Okay, let's move on. We can agree to disagree. <laughs> so hopefully I will still have some friends when we're done. Okay, number one. So this is mainly my kids, not no one I know outside of the house, but I hate it. I absolutely hate it. There I go using the word hate. I, it absolutely annoys me when my kids leave the kitchen cabinets open. Are you serious? Who left these cabinets open? kids and no one's in the kitchen do your kids do that you walk into the kitchen and it's like seriously no one's in here who left these cabinets open I hate that they're gonna use your hate again that annoys me number two the number two thing that annoys me is when lights are on and no one's in the room are you kidding me it's daylight outside why is the light on okay if you walk out for 10 seconds and come back that's different but a lot of times I will see Savannah's light on in her room and I hear her in the living room, and I'm like, okay, maybe she's going back in. And then like 20 minutes pass by, and I'm like, wait a minute, she still didn't go in her room. Like, Savannah, who's in your room? And know what they always tell me? Jesus and the angels. Come on now, get in your room and turn the lights off. They are not paying the light bills around here. I should make them pay a bill once in a while, then they can understand the reason why mama wants the lights off. Number three thing that annoys me is loud gum chewing. When people are talking to you and they're smacking on their gum and it's just like, they're just like sounding like a horse and it's just like annoying me and it's like, can you stop chewing for one second to speak to me? Loud gum chewing, I, I absolutely hate. Number four, when people don't know how to use they, their, and their, I'm sorry, but I learned very early on in elementary school which word to use in which situation. So to me, that just annoys me. There is a young lady who graduated college in our church, and if she ever sees this, I love you so much. But a lot of times when she writes things, she tries to sound so smart, which she is, but then yet she'll use the wrong word, like there when she's trying to say there, like over there, T-H-E-R-E, -E, and she'll say T-H-E-I-R. And I'm like, so bad, I wanna type the correct thing in, I wanna take her whole paragraph and break it down and write it down the correct way, but she probably hate me after that, so I won't do that. But yeah, that annoys me. And it's like, do a spell check. I mean, maybe they weren't there that, at school that day when they were teaching that, I don't know. But that, just one thing that really, really bugs me like with a passion. You'd be surprised how many people don't know how to use which word correctly. Okay, number five. So this is probably my upbringing in the church. And if this offends you, like I said, this has nothing to do with you personally, because I have a few friends who do this and that's on them, that's between them and God. But number five, 
what bugs me is when people are talking about something and they're cussing up a storm and then all of a sudden, but God got me or God this and God that. What? Oh my God. That annoys me so much. The Bible speaks about people who do that, having blessings and cursings coming out your mouth at the same time, saying that it ought not be so. That annoys me so much. I, yeah, y'all, make I'm, like I said, maybe my upbringing in the church, but how are you gonna use the F word and say God or Jesus in the same sentence? The two don't go. Ah! Okay, number six, <laughs> when adults flip people off. Let me explain. Okay, first of all, I don't think that flipping anyone off is appropriate, whether you're an adult or a kid. But kids are sometimes immature, so okay, you know, they do crazy things. But it's like an adult, and yeah, I've had people flip me off before when I'm driving, if they're trying to, I'm already speeding, right? So if, they, if I'm doing 75, they want to do 95, you know, flip me off. Okay, whatever. How did you feel? I mean, how, does that make you feel good? Are we all five? Did you get a nap today? What, I mean, what point does that do? I don't get it. Flipping people off. But when I see adults do it, it literally makes me laugh. I mean, flipping people off, that annoys me because it's just, it's pointless. Wow, this to me is like sticking out your tongue at someone. Who sticks out their tongue at people? Kids, you know? And yeah. Going back to the religious thing, so a lot of you know I don't wear pants, makeup, and jewelry. That's for my religious, religious beliefs. And I said I would do a video as to the reasons why. Um, it'll probably be a lengthy video if I decide to do that because I would have to use scriptures to back up my beliefs, the reasons why I believe that way. And I'm not being forced to do anything. I'm not in a cult. I'm an adult. I could leave and do whatever I want, but this is what I feel what's right for me, okay? So I don't judge anyone who does, who decides to live their life differently. That's you. I just feel that this is going to help me make it into heaven by obeying the way the Bible says to do things, okay? So going back to religion, number seven, one thing that annoys me the most. So since I don't wear pants, I only wear skirts, you will not, y'all, if I had a dollar for all the people who ever ask me, so you don't wear pants, does your dad wear skirts too? Does your son wear skirts too? Does your brother wear skirts too, people? Think about what's coming out your mouth before you ask the question. Then they think it's funny. I, I, I don't I don't find the humor in that. I mean, if you want to ask me more questions about my religion, hey, I'd be more than happy to tell you the reason why I believe the way I do and give you scriptures to back it up. But don't ask me nothing stupid. I would be rich if I had a dollar for everyone who asked me that question. No, the men in my religion don't wear skirts. Number eight, thing that annoys me when people do not wash their hands when they leave the bathroom. That is just so nasty. It's disgusting. And when me and my kids were on our way to Disneyland one year, we stopped at a Burger King in Galt. I hope this girl is watching this because it was disgusting. So she was a worker and she came and used the bathroom. I was already done. I washed my hands and I think I was fixing my hair or something like that, right? So she walked out of the stall, fixed her hair, walked out the door. I looked, I'm like, did she just, I walked up and I placed an order. Girl that walked out the bathroom, when I seen her grabbing my order, I told the guy at the register, I said, I don't want her touching my food because she was in the bathroom and she did not wash her hands. And she said, yes I did, see? How can you see that somebody washed their hands unless their hands were physically filled with poop on it or whatever? And I said, no, I said, no, you will not touch my food. I said, she did not wash her hands. And yeah, that's disgusting. I hate it when people do not wash their hands. Wash your hands, people, wash your hands. I don't want your crotch cooties. I don't want nothing that you got on me. I don't care if it is just you. Wash your stinking hands, you little nasties. Number nine, whew, this one gets to me because there's like a huge debate so when people shame you for not tipping, let me explain myself again. Don't get me wrong, I'm not cheap. I tip, but I tip accordingly. I tip according to the service. I tip according to, I may have not have enough money that day, so I cannot tip. So I hate it when people say, oh, you have to give this amount percentage. No, I don't. I get, a tip is just that. A tip is what you think they deserve. And then these restaurants have that, this is what 18% gratuity is, and this is what 20, and this is what 22. Thank you, but um, 
I'll put my own percentage in there and I get it I understand they're working as well they're working hard I get that I was a server before when I was younger and I appreciated the tips but tips are not guaranteed tips shouldn't be forced it's just that it's something that's suggested not mandatory get an hourly wage and yes those hourly wages may not be high but that's the job that you're in I don't get a tip when in the dental after patients come and they're like oh let me give you this ten dollar tip I don't get that so I mean I don't I don't get it I don't get when people shame you for not leaving a tip number 10 and <laughs> this I really really I'm gonna say hate because it annoys me and it's probably due to my upbringing um, and nothing's wrong with this this is just how I feel about what I'm going to say so number 10 I I do not like it when people come to my house unannounced I may be in my pajamas I may be walking around unpresentable I may have my bonnet on y'all see me with my bonnet on that's not presentable to go out to public or somebody to see that but I let y'all see it but y'all my friends that's different anyway so I do not like do not like when people come to my house out calling texting asking and just showing up who does that I mean I know a lot of people feel differently I have actually two friends that I know that I can go to their house any time of day without even calling because I know that's how they are I know that they have an open door policy and that's how they were raised, which is fine. I'm not knocking it, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. But me on the other hand, if you showed up at my house and I was not expecting you, I'm not gonna answer the door. Yeah, I'm, I'm one of those. Um, yeah, if you didn't call or text first, don't knock because I, I'm not answering the door. What if, I mean, what if I'm in the house just living my best bunnish life and they're ding dong. Um, what are you doing, Michelle? Mmm. Kind of awkward and uncomfortable right yeah don't show up at my house unannounced don't do it so there you have it guys 10 of my top 10 10 of my top 10 my top 10 pet peeves if i could think of any more i will do another video but i hope we're still friends after this not a personal attack this is just what annoys me you may have things like i said in the beginning that annoy you about me let me know in the comments below what annoys you what are your top 10 pet peeves what top 10 you can tell me 10 if you want to I don't know what are your pet peeves what do you hate I know one that is not really my pet peeve but I know some women some of my friends hate this they hate when the men and their family leave the toilet seat up you know what that doesn't bug me for some reason it doesn't because if I don't look before I sit that's on me if water touches my bum yeah that's on me that honestly doesn't bug me you guys what are your pet peeves all right you guys so that's all for this video give this video a thumbs up Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Wait a minute. It is 10.30 in the morning. Why are there lights on in the hall?